In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to download your data from your ROX 10.0. First, make sure the ROX 10.0 is on. Open up the data center and then plug in the USB cable to the back of your ROX 10.0. When it connects, on the left hand side in green, you'll see that the computer is connected. In the dashboard view, You'll also get the window up top that'll show you all the different rides. And if they have been imported already, there will be a small image of a disk. Click the import data. You have the ability to check each individual box separately or any new computer, any new ride. You can click and import all. You'll get another pop-up window showing the status. And when they're all done, your rides will be available to view. Notice in the top right hand corner you'll have a quick summary of your log data, how much time you have re remaining based on your recording interval. If you want to clear your device you can do so by just simply hitting delete. Now also in the screen if your computer is out of date it'll give you this message in the middle that will say firmware update. In this case the two computers that I'm showing now there is a new version available, you would click Start Update to update. On the bottom half of the screen, you'll see a summary of your rides for the last week. You can view them by calories, altitude, distance, or training time. And in the bottom section, you'll have a summary of your best results. This will give you your longest time, most calories, longest distance, etc. You can also view your data in a calendar view. Here in the calendar, you can view it by month or you can view it by week. And again, in the bottom section, you'll be able to see a summary of your training rides. And if you use the chest strap, it'll give you a trend similar to what you see in the month. Now, if you want to view any of your data, you can click on many different items, whether you highlight here and double click, go to the dashboard, you can choose any of the columns and double click, or you can highlight any of the data below and double click. When you do, it'll open up the training view. In this training view, the screen is split into two. You have the upper and the lower. By using these four icons, you could drag into the different segment to be able to change your view. You can take this and you can put the map there. You can put your graph down there. If you want to see heart rate data and power data, you can drag it to the middle where you could also see it in a pie chart. So you have a lot of different views that you can play around with. First, if you note in the middle of the screen, there's a green triangle. The green triangle is going to be your current data. If you click it and drag it, you'll see a red line going down throughout the ride. If I put a map in this top segment, that red line will also show up in your ride as a circle and a dot. Now just say we want to analyze only a part of the ride. We can drag this limit to say the beginning of this climb. And if we drag this to the top of the climb, if you look on the map up here, that part of the ride will be highlighted in a darker blue. Now more importantly, if we drag the trip data into the screen, now looking at the average speeds, all of the values in the upper section correspond only to the area that is highlighted down below. If you notice as I drag this out here, the values up top move dynamically and will give you all the data only for the section of the route that you want to analyze. Another cool feature with this, just say the beginning part that we have grayed out was part of your warm-up ride and you didn't want that to count in your overall statistics. If you click on the menu tab, you have a couple more different options, one of which is being able to trim the log. In this case, would cut out the gray portion on the left and the gray portion on the right 
leaving only the segment that is highlighted and displayed, allowing you to be able to save your data only for your training data, making your file a little smaller and easier to send to a coach. Now let me go back up here. I'm going to drag the log chart back to the middle, and I'm going to drag the data back down to the bottom. And as we look at the upper section, you can pull the green settings box open. Here you have the ability to add some more functions and features. Cadence is a little tough to see. You can add temperature. You can add power. If you had laps, you could add laps. You can keep track of the number of times you took breaks. So you can see as much or as little data as you want. You can see your averages. You could also put in your heart rate zones. So if you want to see intensity zones, power zones. So you can see a lot of different features on your map. And again, all the data down below will correspond to everything that is up top. You can also use the zoom buttons on the left to be able to change. You can also use the drop down menu to be able to change your uh, values on your x axis as well as your y axis. You got the box over here, just say you want it to be heart rate, and your values will change accordingly. You also have a few options. You can name this ride and you can save that. If you click on notes down below, you have the ability to change some things with the weather. You can put a description for your ride. You can put a link to the ride. You can tell if it was a mountainy, mountainy ride. You have the ability to add training partners. Whatever you want to do to be able to keep the ride straight for you. Then, more importantly, we have the ability to export the rides so that you can share the rides with friends or with other websites and apps. You can export it as a Sigma file, which makes it easier to share between current other users. You can use a .fit format, which will be able to import into other apps like Strava and Map My Ride or training programs like Training Peaks. You have the ability to export it as a CSV file for someone who keeps track in an Excel spreadsheet. Or if you want to share your track or your route so that other people can download the ride and just follow along on their own without necessarily seeing your heart rate, speed, cadence data, it'll give them a track that you can use to share. And of course, you can print your data, at which point you can check off the different values that you want to see or don't want to see you can print as an image, so as a PDF, or if you select Print Preview, it'll show you what you're about to print before you actually do. And if we close the screen, lastly, if you look at these two green buttons over here, by clicking either one, allows you to see your data as a full screen view. So these are just a few short tips about how to import data from your ROX 10.0 into the Sigma Data Center. And once your data is in the data center, some of the ways that you can manipulate and analyze your results. For more information, visit www.sigma-rocks.com.